Well, as the temperature goes up, our face goes down. That is the makeup <laughs> melts off our face. Carrie Wilson is here, and actually, we're talking about ways to beat the heat makeup wise. But when you were unloading all of your supplies, you said, This is the coolest <laughs> product. Yes. And so, what is it? This right here is the coolest product ever. It's so let's do it last. We'll do Okay. Ha! Sounds good. See what we're doing there? Okay, good. So, what are, what are you going to show? So, I always like to start with skincare. Sometimes it's time to reevaluate lighter formulas, gels, lotions. Now, some of us are still dry, but the humidity can really weigh the skin down. And so, go for those. SPF products that you can wear every day that protect the skin, but are also lighter in texture, especially if you're going to then put a primer on and then a foundation. It's all about kind of lightening things up so we don't feel weighed down and heavy. And you can also even change your cleanser. Maybe it's time to do something that's more um, going to help with acne or breakout if, it, if this humidity does make you more oily or something that's going to help to just feel more refreshing and cooling and lathering on the skin. So time to kind of reevaluate that. Um, next is all about primers. So there's a primer okay. for everything. There's a primer for eyebrows. There's a primer for eyeshadow. And then there's all kinds of different primers. So many that I've seen over the last few years for every different skin type and, and skin And concern. is this real? This is not an upsell thing. This is real. You want a primer because it makes the cosmetics stay, stay better? Stay on longer. It okay. helps to fill in pores. Okay. Some of them help with redness. Some of them help with texture of the skin. Um, or some are hydrating primers, which... Most people won't need during the summer here in Florida, but some people still do. Some people are just have really, really dry skin. So read the labels. Um, I happen to love Smashbox because to me, they kind of lay out everything really nicely and you go, oh, that's me. That's the one that I mm -hmm. need. Um, and then with your foundation, you know, sometimes we uh, have a little bit more color in our skin, a little bit more tan. We want to lighten up the formula. I love BB and CC creams for this time of year. So they carry very high SPFs, which is really important. They're lighter in texture. So remember, we're lightening up. Um, but they also have, they're packed full of great ingredients. So I love to do those so too. So BB and CC, those aren't brands. Those are a type of a product. That's correct. So BB is more for a beauty balm, which helps with texture. If you have a little breakout or combination skin, it's really great for that. CC is color corrective. So okay. it's better for that person who has uneven skin tone, melasma, sun damage, that type of thing. Okay, very good to know. And then what about the sprays? I know you love the sprays. I love the sprays. <laughs> so uh, I actually use this very one. Yes. Although we did a uh, we did a little DIY project and made some too. And it's not it's right. not that difficult to make as a DIY. And you could probably still find it on RiverCityLiveTV.com. But but why is a setting spray where you just spray your face after you do your makeup? Why is that important? It helps to keep things, sort of seal it. So you used to hear the old tail, oh, spray hairspray on the face. It'll keep the, it's a sta an old stage trick, really. So this is a healthy way of doing that without feeling heavy or, or having any sort of clogging of the pores, but it will help to keep things on and from moving and sliding. Okay, we're going to pass this one and do these quickly so we can make sure we get back to this. So it's that time of year you need to be grabbing those waterproof eyeliners and those waterproof mascaras. Mm -hmm. Even if you want to do your regular mascara on top, possibly, but you want to do a waterproof one underneath so you don't have that movement down here. Ah, so if you don't okay. like it all over, just grab one that you can use on the bottom oh, and it will help a lot. Waterproof on the bottom only. Yes. Okay, what is the coolest product out there? So this is by Murad and it instantly mattifies your skin, minimizes pores, and sets your makeup. So you use a puff. You have to feel that with your finger though. Okay. It's liquidy. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. So is it like a sponge that's soaked it's with like some kind a, of liquid? an updated blotting powder. So what you do is you press it on the skin, whether you're wearing makeup or not. You can use it on naked skin or you can use it on your skin after makeup. It's going to instantaneously take the shine and the oil out of the skin without adding and compacting powder on top. Would you use that instead of a setting spray? Still use your setting spray. Okay. This is more for touch up. So oh. you look in the mirror and maybe you would normally grab your powder or your blotting tissue. You use this instead. It's liquid, then it completely dries, mattifies the skin without adding any more makeup on top. Wow. It's okay, cool that product. is cool. Yep. I didn't think you could bring anything I'd never seen before. <laughs> but you always somehow do that. Carrie Wilson is available for you to have a consultation with, or if you just have a question, or you want to learn anything more about any of these things, you can visit our website, and we will link you right up to her at um, RiverCityLiveTV.com, and you'll click on the As Seen on RCL tab. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you. Keeping us looking fresh That's this right. summer. <laughs> we'll be back.